So let's um, let's begin with some uh, modeling and uh, use a schema to uh, to fetch some data from uh, from MongoDB. And um, I'll just close this client. We don't need that right now. But I would like to here in my um, in my folder structure. I think I will rename this one because this is my controller actually. So I will call this controllers. Um, and uh, up here, I need to uh, change this one to controllers. And I don't use it anywhere else now. And then I will make uh, a new folder and I will call this models because now we are close to something uh, with uh, MVC because uh, here in our models we will set up our schema and um, the connection with uh, with MongoDB so in here I'll just make a file and name it uh, products.js uh, um, and in here I need to um, to create uh, the schema and the model. So in first, first I have to require my mongoose. So I will use require mongoose. And after that, I can set up my schema. So I'll just make a, a variable for that. I could make it more compact, uh, but I I prefer to, uh, to define my um, my variables and then use them afterwards and you will see that in a minute so I need to resemble this uh, this structure from my data so that means I have to some have to something like this because my ID is uh, is now made with uh, in MongoDB uh, with underscore ID so I I not use the ID anymore later on I'll perhaps I'll make another way of ID in my my products but right now I'll just uh, omit this and then use the underscore ID from um, MongoDB. So in here I will have to have something that resembles this. So I will just go and delete all these quotes and after that oops, I will have to instead of having these values I will have to define what kind of uh, data is this, what data type is it. And this one would be a string, this one would be a number, this one would be a string, and this one would be a string, and this one would be a string, and then we we'll have a number as the last one. So this is my schema for my, my collection. Uh, for my product collection. So now I'll make my products and uh, now I'm using a capital letter P because it resembles a class uh, like a structure. So uh, I use this uh, this naming convention and I will use the mongoose model uh, method and uh, I will call this products and I will use of course my schema for that. So instead of wrapping this into here as you might see somewhere, oh, I like to copy this and then I'll just insert it here. Uh, this is kind of, um, yeah, I don't know, I prefer the most short one here, so I define my stuff here and then I use it here. And then as the last thing we need to do, because this is a module, we need to export what can be used in, in other modules like we'll do in our controller. So I'll just um, export this model here. Then I can use it when I'm, uh, I'm trying to fetching all the data or trying to manipulate the data. So this is actually, this, has, this is my model, but this can be my connection as well. So I'll save this and in my controllers, I have my API and then I have my product. Um, and down here, I would like to get all my products instead of just outputting some dummy uh, JSON data. I would like to first of all make um, this uh, this model. Uh, so I will have to require it because this is a module that I just made. 
and I have to step out of this API folder, out of the controllers and inside the module models and then get this one. So it will be dot dot, dot slash dot dot slash and then I'll go into the models and then I would like to get products. And I don't need to specify this as a JavaScript file because everything is JavaScript in Node. So um, so now I have my, my model and then I can use this model down here. I can say products dot find and I don't have to specify a parameter, but if I want to search for something and I'll perhaps I'll do that up here, a specific ID. But right now I'm just happy with uh, with getting everything. And um, so I don't specify any parameter here. I'll just get a callback function. And this callback function will take two parameters, one error and then data. And um, of course, if I have an error, I would like to, uh, to console error. Um, uh, otherwise, I would like to um, respond with some JSON, and this would be my data. So now it is possible for me to um, let's see. We have st started here. We have started our server. So it should be possible for me to go to uh, slash API slash products and see only one product now. So let's go to the browser here. So now I have my um, my object from uh, from MongoDB. And uh, next video I would like to show how to use it in uh, Angular JS.